everybody. Welcome back, my friends, to the show that never ends. Yes, and hello to everybody on YouTube who get the first little snippets of my mad uh, ranting and raving. The sun's come out, I've already got a suntan. Yes, I'm a bit of a beach baby. Right, so uh, here we go. Um, this morning, I don't know if you watch GMTV, but I saw David Lammy on there. And David Lammy, uh, he gets quite uh, an easy ride, doesn't he, from uh, Bill. Bill's back on, that bloke who was, was ill. He's a sort of a grown-up that they've got on television. One can't help thinking that they've got him on there, though, because he was once ill, and they're sort of doing him a favour. I think he's brilliant, and much better than anyone else that they've put in there uh, to uh, take over from... Uh, the dreaded Piers Morgan. I see that bloke still doing the weather and I'm really pleased that he's not taking over from Piers Morgan because I don't like him. He should just stick clouds on boards and that's it and then wind his neck in a little bit. But have you noticed that David Lammy has now gone... Uh, well, he's gone a bit funny, hasn't he? He starts to talk like that now, you know, I think. And he never gets interrupted. Why is that? You make your own mind up about that. But have you noticed he started to look and sound uh, like Diane Abbott? I... Look, you know me, I'm a bit controversial, but someone, someone show me a picture of the two of them together. You never see the two of them in the same room. I think there's something going on there. I think David Lammy and Diane Abbott are the same person. They sound alike, they look alike, and they're both uh, bonkers. Talking of bonkers, uh, and I, it, it just happens to be the Labour Party, there's another woman called uh, Claire Rayner. Oh no, she's the agony aunt. I've always thought about them agony aunts. I always look like people you wouldn't want to shag in the first place. Anyway, Angela Rayner, uh, uh, she's an MP. She's the shadow home, uh, shadow. she's on the Labour front benches. She's a nice girl, red, red head. No hair, just a red head. Anyway, she got torn a new arse. This is Shush! This is, uh, she got torn a new arse. She was um, put in her place quite firmly uh, by the brilliant Penny Morden. Penny Morden, uh, not just a, a Conservative MP, and I wouldn't say that because I'm a Tory toff. I ain't a toff. Tory boy, disgrace to the working class people. But I believe she's a Royal Navy rever uh, Reservist officer as well. Put her in a place. And, and that was fantastic to see. Go on YouTube and look up um, Angela Rayner, given a new ass by Penny Mordant. And talking of uh, uh, Rayner, she's the MP for Stockport. I wonder if that's on the dangerous areas. We've got this new thing about dangerous areas now. Uh, Blackburn, Leicester, Bedford, Burnley and Hounslow are amongst them. So let's guess what those places are well known for. And let's match the Indian variant up uh, to this uh, situation. Okay, first of all, these are areas uh, that where a lot of Asian people live, Bangladeshis, Pakistanis, uh, and, and Indians. And most of these Indians, because they're so family uh, entorientated, <laughs> and who can blame anybody for that? You know, I'm very, very envious of the fact that Indian families stay together and love one another, and the fact that their weddings are three days long. God, blimey, those Sikhs can drink. Anyway, has anyone mentioned that the fact that these are areas where there are ethnic minorities? Are we all frightened to death? Everybody is frightened to death. Well, I wouldn't go to Blackburn or, or Bolton or any of them places. You're better off in Belarus as long as you don't fly. But anyway, here's what's been going on in London. Okay, again, this is quite dark. Sasha Johnson, she was pictured in Black Lives Matter. I thought she looked quite uh, quite good in all that gear. Uh, but that's, of course, sexist, isn't it? That just adds to the racism. Fucking hell. Uh, right, so here we go. She was known as the Black Panther of Oxford, whether that's self-styled or someone else picked that name for her. Anyway, she is fighting for her life now, this poor woman. No one deserves to be shot because of protesting, OK? We're not living in darkest uh, uh, American gangland. But it said, and listen to this in speech marks, the police are looking for four black men. Now, that's the first time I've ever heard the police say that. So I've, I've looked it up. Normally, if you say, what colour are the people you're looking for? I don't, I don't think race should enter into this, Mr. Davidson. I don't know why you're trying to inflame. Well, here we go, looking for four black men. Now, Diane Abbott and, and the political party that Sasha Johnson uh, uh, represented are saying this is because of her racial views and she was assassinated. And, 
and they're doing nothing but inflaming the situation. The truth of it is the police are looking for a gang of four black men that came in in black gear with hoods on and uh, let off some firearms. And uh, perhaps the reason that they're not frightened to say we're looking for black men, because it was a black officer that made uh, that statement, Commander Alison Haidari. And so, uh, well well done you, uh, Commander. Let's start telling it how it is, and we'll start to police this country uh, on people who break the law rather than box ticking. We can't just get away with it, apart from David Lammy and Diane Abbott, who can get away with being utterly fucking bonkers, uh, and no one says a thing. Okay, let's go to you, Stream. Brilliant. Squirrel. <laughs> you are? And who was the bloke that used to stick his hand up that young bird with the nappy on? Ralph Harris. An Englishman, a Scotchman, an Irishman, a Welshman, a Gurkha, a Latvian, a Turkman, an Aussie, a German, a Yank, an Egyptian, a Jap, a Mexican, a Spaniard, a Russian, a Pole, a Lithuanian, a Jordanian, a Kiwi, a Swiss, a Finn, a Canadian, a Romanian, a Bulgarian, a Jew, a Muslim, a Buddha, and a Hindu, all went into a nightclub. That's right, welcome back. Britain's got talent. Score you. I'm not quite. Don't no. try again. Uh, I can't do couples. Uh, we're going to have to, uh, I'm sorry to say, we're going to have to ban sex. So it will have to be done. Anyway, it comes to 12 o'clock. He said, you see that jobby there? He says, hey. He said, that's my wife. He said, who do you know that? He said, I've got my sandwiches tied to it. <laughs> <laughs> Deadly. 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 Oh, Trump. Trump. I turn around. He stood? He stood like this. Squirrel. <laughs> 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 Tenzin Pembroke, I think. He said, yeah, yeah. He said he'd been going there for twins, Bobby. Oh, going there for twins, Denzel. I said, Denzel, how do you tell them apart? He said, Dorian has got blonde hair, <laughs> and Brian has got a cock. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello, hello. Thank you very much. It's lovely. It's lovely. Look, hello.